Okay, bear with me. Thirteen, one, two, three. Okay, the sound should be working. Okay, this is your friend George on Facebook. And for my geek friends, I'm known as PC Kermon, which is spelled P C C A R E M A N. Okay, I've been doing this roughly for about 20 years. Okay, I cover Windows operating systems, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 10 and also cover the Mac OS Syria and I also cover a number of Linux distros on software computer viruses hardware problems even been known for I've even been known to be running a few gadgets okay the leg of the echo dot webcam speakers wi-fi home networking and etc etc okay today we're going to talk about windows 10 settings okay okay a lot of people are using windows 10 some have moved up from 7 and uh, some people like windows 10 and some people don't and of course there's a lot of people who don't know how to use it properly okay so let me let me go through the Windows 10 settings for you, okay, on your computers here. So you're, if you're using Windows 10 today and you're on Facebook and you're broadcasting and you've wondered what all the settings is in Windows 10, there's a couple of tips and tricks here. Uh, some are for security reasons and some will actually help you boost your operating system. Uh, some people might find that their Windows 10 Microsoft Edge browser isn't opening up properly and some people may find it a bit slow okay so in the next video after I cover the Windows 10 settings I will show you a couple of small tips and tricks on how to speed up your Microsoft Edge browser if you're using it on the Windows 10 operating system now, Microsoft do bring out uh, what they call builds, Windows 10 builds, and they are released usually with every two to three months. Okay, so to get to your Windows 10 settings, friends, you have to go to the right hand corner of your taskbar, and when you click it, you will see a small cog on it saying settings. You click a settings, you'll be brought up with this box here in front of you. And here you will have a number of settings. Now, there is another way that you can do it for your own convenience. You can type in control panel. You can right click on it and you can send it to your taskbar. For handiness, if you're used to the old Windows control panel on Windows 7 or Windows XP when we used it in the early days. Okay, so let's go through some of the settings here on Windows 10. Uh, there's quite a number of people actually don't know what they're for believe it or not okay so here you have what they call the system uh, settings so if you click it here you will come with 
basically this will be your display settings which is basically the resolution here of your uh, desktop computer you'll notice that mine is 1920 by 1080 resolution which is basically known as the desktop pixels okay so if you scroll down here and you happen to be using uh, another monitor uh, you can actually connect up two monitors to one laptop if you've got a laptop you can connect up a, a VGA monitor or USB connection and you can have what they call extra room on your desktop you can have two monitors operating so basically you would click out there for to detect your two monitors so let's move over to notifications and actions here so here you will notice that you have on the right hand side of your taskbar at the bottom right hand side you will see something like this here uh, okay so we'll scroll on down here here you will have get notifications from apps on other senders show notifications on the lock screen show reminders and then coming VOILP calls on the lock screen now there is some of these friends that you can actually turn off okay and uh, it'll give your computer a little wee bit more better performance uh, you can get tips and tricks and suggestions as you use your windows if you don't want it click it here and you can actually turn it off and turn it back on now hopefully this here will not freeze on us because sometimes windows 10 has been known to freeze okay and obviously I'm running a number of programs here on in the background so here you will have notifications for autoplay Cortana if you use Cortana which is the voice recognition that you have built into your system I will cover that at a later date that would be the Microsoft Edge which is the default web browser that comes here Windows 10 so you would have your programs and stuff here and you can turn some of these off so like escape you can turn it off if you want on stores so move over quickly to power and sleep i have mine set to basically turn the monitor display off within five hours if you click the drop down box here you can set it to 25 minutes or never whatever convenience that suits yourself I have obviously turned mine off never to go to sleep you can set your desktop computer or laptop to go to sleep if you're not using it and here you have additional power settings which will basically bring you up the old control panel power settings okay and if you click control panel well then you go to the windows 7 control panel that you're used to and you can set it for phones and etc I will cover that at a later date so this here would be your storage uh, this particular computer uh, when I bought it come with a one terabyte hard drive and I actually took the back of it because I know what I'm doing and I stuck in a two terabyte hard drive which is registering at 1.99 now if you do decide to put more hard drive space in your desktop computer uh, or your laptop obviously I wouldn't advise you to strip it and take it apart unless you know what you're doing uh, okay so obviously if you know what you're doing to work out cheaper for you if you actually order an external hard drive and you know how to take the hard drive out of the external hard drive you can actually save yourselves a few pounds so that's exactly what I've done. I ordered a two terabyte external hard drive. I took the hard drive out of the external one, and the one terabyte out of this computer, I put it in the external. And as I say, I've got a two terabyte. Uh, it's basically saying I'm only using eighty nine point eight gigabytes out of one point nine nine terabyte. Okay. Now this one here, Storage Sense, Windows can automatically free up space by getting rid of files you don't need, like a temporary files and etc. You can turn that on by clicking the small button here. Okay, so let's go over this pretty quick. This here is basically tablet mode. 
use appropriate mode for my hardware always ask me before switching these are set by default okay so if you know what you're doing here you can actually change the settings uh, multitasking says what it is speaks for itself okay projecting to this computer okay so Windows 10 is actually built for what they call a virtualization and extend and some Windows 10 computers if you have a smart television at home you can actually project your television uh, straight to your TV from your Windows 10 computer if your computer is actually uh, compatible for it now some old computers are probably not okay short expanses on about this here basically about tells me that I'm running a Windows 10 computer Windows 10 Pro uh, Windows this 1703 is basically the latest version that is applicable to your Windows 10 and that's the latest build that they brought out now there's another one coming out in the 15th or the 16th of September also if you're using a MacBook keep your eyes open for the new Mac uh, Sierra which is the High Sierra which will be out on the 17th of September it'll be an automatic update if you have it, your MacBook set to automatically update uh, I'm actually testing the beta version out on the, the new Mac OS that's coming out and it's pretty pretty good I'm well pleased with obviously the processor here is telling me that I'm using a 2.93 gigahertz processor it tells me that I've installed 8 gigabytes of RAM it's a 64 bit operating system on etc click back to home this one here devices okay now there's quite a lot here so I'll maybe not get it all covered Bluetooth and other devices okay uh, if you have a Bluetooth device you can click add Bluetooth or other devices here uh, this here is the TV that I have in the living room okay so that's basically how that works if you've got a printer at home a wireless printer or a USB printer this is how you would add your printer you'll notice that I have one added here and I've also another one added here and there should be a third one added here which is a laser printer this is for your mouse settings. If you find that your mouse clicks is too quick, you can slow them down here. And this one's for typing. Okay, I have it set by default. Autocorrect, misspell words, and etc. This here is for pen, one day ink. If you're obviously if you're using a tablet or you bought one of them, you make yourself studios where you have the pen with it. That's what that's for. Autoplay by default I have it on actually I think it was turned off by default and that is USB so there's quite a lot of settings here friends okay this particular one I want to draw your attention to if you're using Wi-Fi okay if you're using Wi-Fi and you have a laptop and you're up and storming on you happen to be going somewhere for the day and you pull up to a cafe that has got free Wi-Fi be very careful because a lot of them is not encrypted okay and a lot of guys believe it or not could be sitting in the cafe and watching exactly what you're doing so here this is your status okay this particular one here a uh, Wi-Fi by default this is on okay and I'm not using Wi-Fi at the minute I'm using Ethernet so I have it turned off what you want to do is if you are using Wi-Fi find paid plans for suggested open hotspots near you turn that off friends okay if you're at home turn that off connect to suggested open hotspots you definitely want to turn that off too for security reasons other 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 ways if you have your laptop out on its own it'll automatically connect to the nearest open hotspot okay uh, let me use online sign up to get connected I have that turned off so keep an eye on the Wi-Fi one particular because a lot of them free Wi-Fi hotspots the data is not encrypted okay the data is not encrypted and if someone was using a small program on their computer and they were sniffing your traffic and you happen to be banned something well then they're going to see it without your knowledge okay 
this is Ethernet connections here where you can change your Ethernet adapter and etc. You notice that I call my network Baker, okay? My hub that I have home is called Baker. Now, if you were to Google Baker hubs, you will find out they don't exist under that name. And the reason I have it set that is because if someone was going past with their mobile phone, walking past their house, if they go to their their Wi-Fi connection on their mobile phone, you can actually see all the different Wi-Fi connections. So if it comes up BT Hub, and you go to Google and type in how to hack a BT Hub, well then you're going to be able to hack it. It's a simple matter what to tell you, okay? Hey, the information is out there. It's just a matter of finding it. So you want to name your Wi-Fi to something that's not original. So I'm quite happy if someone wants to Google nay nah, bigger hub and they want to hack mine. Good luck to them. If they hack it, give me a rap and I'll give you a few quid because there's no such thing called a bigger hub. <laughs> so that's me using my brain. That's what it's for. Okay, dollop doesn't really apply. The old dollop connections used to be 56k. Uh, whenever I first started many years ago, way back in 19... When does 1995 where you had dollop there's no fiber optic man now whenever you had it connected and you want the dollar it cost you something like 10p it went do -do 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 -do. that's all you got so dollop it doesn't really well it doesn't really apply to you forget about that one a vpn is virtual it's a virtual private network okay that's what it stands for Airplane mode, turn this on to stop all wireless communications such as Wi Fi and etc. Mobile hotspots speaks for itself, and obviously, if you're pay as you go, that would tell you your data and etc. A proxy, okay, basically, it's a proxy IP, it's a dummy internet protocol IP, okay. A lot of people on Facebook will probably notice that someone's trying to get access to their account from time to time if they're unfortunate. Now if a person is actually doing that believe it or not they're probably using what they call a proxy IP. Okay. Anybody that knows what they're doing they're not going to leave their original IP. Okay. Because they know that if you google it and do a wee bit of homework you can write to the webmaster and say this IP address was trying to get access to certain accounts and they will check it they'll know it hits allocated to and Bob's your uncle they're caught but most people would use a proxy IP hacking is very hard to prove personal this one here is all for personal okay for personalizing your desktop computer you can change your background screen oh which I think I just did there. And you can set it to change the picture every 30 minutes or every one day. You notice when you reboot your Windows 10 laptop or desktop computer, you will notice from time to time you get a different background screen. So basically that's how it's controlled. You can turn it off even if you want. Uh, colors, you can change your desktop and bar your taskbar to different colors and etc. Uh, themes you can get more online if you want something with dolphins on it and stuff like that okay so it's basically for your personal preference this one is your apps okay it might take a second or two and it should tell you exactly what apps you have on your Windows 10 installed then you have default apps, offline maps, and apps for a website. So I'm going to skip that and move down. This particular one is your account, where you sign in for your Microsoft account. Obviously, let me see, click it here, and that would be your email, and etc. and etc. Time and language, and your speech. So obviously, if you're from Germany, you would probably set it to German. This is for gaming, okay. And by default, these are all ticked. These are all highlighted here. 
broadcasting. It says here, sorry, your PC doesn't meet the hardware requirements. Okay, now some computers will and some will not. And obviously for game mode, this is on by default. If you don't use games, turn it off. And if you move down here, you've got basically for people that have got problems with their site. Okay, I think we've got a, a bit of an interruption there in the video, but it should kick back in. Okay, so that's basically, you can have your computer read out to you if you've got, if you're, uh, what they call, uh, you've got problems with your site, you can't see probably. And uh, you have magnifiers, and you can also have it reading out to you. Privacy is your location on your camera. And the most important one again is your security updates. Okay, now Windows update. By default, Windows 10 will automatically update your system by default. But I like to have control over it. And I like to be able to click check for updates. I'm just waiting on the, I'm watching the other computer here. And I'm just basically waiting to see what you are saying. And then I know exactly what I am seeing. I don't want to go too far ahead of you, okay? So, Windows updates and Windows 10 computer, same as Windows 7, is automatically set by default, okay? But I like to take control of my computer, so I would check for updates by clicking check for updates. If you click update history, this will basically give you the history of the last updates you got. The last one I got was on the 20th of the 8th. 2017. I got three driver updates and I can actually see what driver updates I got on etc. Now if you go to the advanced options here and you highlight it, by default this is not ticked. Give me updates for other Microsoft products when I update Windows. I have that ticked. That's my personal choice. Okay. Uh, don't need to worry about it if you're not concerned. Now, on the left hand side here, you do have Windows Defender. Okay, now, you don't really need an antivirus program with Windows 10, friends. To be honest with you, Microsoft Windows Defender and Windows 10, in my opinion, is pretty good. Years ago on Windows 7, I wouldn't be contented with it, okay? But the Windows 10, I would personally be quite happy using uh, Windows Defender antivirus program. Over to your left here, you've got backup, okay? Now backup speaks for itself. If you've got an external hard drive, you can add it on backup to an external hard drive. If you're using the Microsoft OneDrive or Google Drive, It'll automatically back up your documents in the cloud for you. And there's other third party programs. It's very important you back up your Microsoft Word documents, especially if you need them. Because if something goes wrong with your computer and you click recovery, if it doesn't work, you're in trouble, okay? Now, if you've upgraded from Windows 10, or sorry, if you've upgraded to Windows 10 from Windows 7, Okay, you basically have 10 days, if you don't like it, to go back, okay? After 10 days, Microsoft have designed Windows 10 to remove your old system, okay? So that's just a wee tip for you. Troubleshooting here, you have a number of tools. If you have got problems with your internet connection, if you click this one here, It'll try to help you solve it. This is problem for your audio, your printer, or your Windows Update. Now, if you go on down here, you have a number of wee help tools here, okay? If you got problems with your keyboard, connecting to your computer, okay, so there's quite a number here. Just basically click them and let it run. And it'll, it'll basically help, help you to sort the problem out. If you've got problems with your Windows 10 store opening up, 
click this button here and run the troubleshooter that's all you do the same as any one of these okay so if I was basically on the keyboard one here double click it run the if I click run the troubleshooter it'll basically scan and try to fix it for you also if you have problems with your Windows 10 operating system and it's very buggy for you okay sometimes when we upgrade when Microsoft basically bring out a new Windows 10 build okay is sometimes it becomes unstable it's known as bugs now basically what a bug is it's a piece of program that's wrote wrong or someone has forgot to put the dot in the right place and it becomes what they call a program bug okay but we just call it a uh, computer bugs okay so basically you can click get started and basically it'll reset your operating system for you more likely will take you back to the one that you put on before okay some computers do have problems with on Windows 10 and some don't okay so I'm not going to cover the advanced one because it would be too complicated for you especially if you're not too sure activation is obviously your operating system is activated now this one for developers is basically for programmers okay and it's basically for guys that are making apps for the Windows 10 store and etc they're called developers program developers okay so you don't need to worry about that now the Windows 10 insider program I belong to it on the Windows uh, for Windows 10 for Microsoft it's free for people to join okay um, basically what it means is that before you get the next new operating system as a Windows Insider I get the opportunity to get it before you okay but the problem is it's not recommended to put on a computer that they're using because it is full of bugs and the whole idea is that if I run into a problem I fill a wee thing in it goes to Microsoft they look at it and then it helps them build a better system okay so think about that before you decide to use it okay friends so this one is 10 sad and there's a lot to take in there I understand and it might sound a bit geekish okay but through time it's pretty simple now if you're not happy with it and you're used to the old Windows 7 go ahead and open up your Windows 7 and all you have to do is type in C-O-N T-R-O-L okay control panel and you'll notice here it brings up a control panel okay so if I right click on that in fact if I, if I click it like that there it'll bring up the control panel for me or you can write it in the search at the bottom left hand corner of your screen and that'll give you the old Windows 7 control panel if you're more happier with it okay just a a video there on the Windows 10 settings as I say we'll cover more stuff in the near future so if there's anything that you're having a problem with your Windows 10 all right Willie if you're having a problem with your Windows 10 operating system friends PM me when you see me logging in and just say Jordi the firewall's not opening up or whatever the problem is can you help me and I will do my best to point you in the right direction okay so don't be afraid of asking I have to apologize there if there's any interruptions with the broadcast uh, Facebook for some reason uh, has what they call live video interruptions okay uh, it's definitely not my end because I'm basically broadcasting at the minute and I'm not dropping what they call a packet okay which is data packets I'm not dropping one okay and I will do a video of this and put it up in case Facebook video interruptions are maybe causing us problems okay so Windows 10 settings and if you're anything there you're not too sure of 
PM up when I'm on Facebook. If you know me, obviously, and you get the chance to see me, don't be afraid to say, okay? It does take time to learn computers. And there's a lot of things I'm still learning, and I've been at it quite a long time, okay? So, one is 10, friends. Uh, enjoy, and as I say, I will show you just one quick tip here if you're having problems with your Microsoft Edge browser while we're here. And uh, if you bear with me, let me go back here, type in C O N T R O L tunnel. Let me open this up and I'll show you just quickly. Okay, if you're having problems with your Microsoft Edge browser and it doesn't seem to be loading up quick enough for you, here's a simple tip. Open up your control panel, go to network and internet, go to internet options, okay, let this wee box pull down, go to settings, okay, in here it'll probably say uh, 250 MB megabytes recommended, okay, change it, and only how to change it, scroll it out, just type in 10, 24 okay and click OK and you'll find out and close the box you'll find out when you restart your Windows uh, 10 Microsoft Edge browser it'll actually fly up quicker for you okay so that's just a wee tip there if your browser is slow whenever you're you're clicking on it to open it up I know some people use Google Chrome uh, some people use Firefox and uh, Safari browser is pretty good on the MacBook, but it's not really supported on the Windows 10 computer. Okay, so just a wee tip there for you. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that small video. Windows 10 settings, how to. Okay, and thank you.